So I'm here to help you with dividing fractions. Dividing fractions is pretty easy. It actually really turns out to just be multiplying fractions. So as long as you're good at multiplying fractions, this is no problem. Just a few things you always have to remember. In this first example, I am going to divide a whole number by a fraction. My whole number is 10 divided by 1 seventh. What that means is how many 1 sevenths are there in the whole number 10? Or if there were 10 pizzas, how many 1 sevenths could I get out of that? So the steps for dividing fractions are to take every single mixed and mixed number and whole number and write them as an improper fraction. So we will do that first. 10 over 1 divided by 1 seventh. Now our next step is to always change our division sign to a multiplication problem. And now our problem is 10 over 1 divided by 1 seventh. I'm going to put our steps here. I'm going to call this step A. Step B. Step C is we have to flip the second fraction. We cannot forget that. 10 over 1 times 7 over 1. Our next step would be cross simplify if we can, which we cannot because there are no common factors between 10 and 1 except for 1, so that won't help us. And same thing here. Our answer then is to multiply straight across, so we get 10 times 7 over 1 times 1, we get 70 over 1. Our final answer is 70. So that means that there are 70 one sevenths in the number 10. That makes sense. Let's go ahead and go to the next example. This time I'm going to do a fraction divided by a fraction. What I'm asking myself is how many one fourths there are in three fourths. Three fourths is my fraction, it's being divided into one fourth chunks. So let's write the problem out. Three fourths. times, we have to change it to a multiplication, then we flip our second fraction, 3 fourths times 4 over 1, that is the flip. You can see that 1 fourth flipped upside down and became 4 over 1. We never ever flip the first fraction. Now we should cross simplify if we can. We can cross simplify these two fours. They can be divided by 4 I always cross out my fractions when I cross simplify just to make sure that I know they're gone and I won't accidentally multiply by them. So both of those get crossed out. They, we divided out a common factor of 4 and we're left with two ones. Okay, That always makes the problem easier. Then we multiply straight across and our answer is 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 times 1 is 1 which means our final answer is 3. Think about that answer to see if it makes sense. We are saying here 3 fourths, how many 1 fourths can we get out of it? Well obviously 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth would equal 3 fourths. So it makes sense that we get 3 1 fourths out of 3 fourths. Okay, good job so far. And the next one is the mixed number divided by a fraction. First step is always to do MAD. Okay, so let's do our MAD step here, which is, let me just draw this out. Okay, that equals 7 times 2 is 14, plus 6 is 20 over 7, divided by 5 fourteenths. Let's change it into a multiplication problem, 20 over 7 times, flip our second fraction, 14 over 5. Let me just erase that extra mark there. Okay. We should cross simplify whenever we can. In this case we can cross simplify twice. 7 can be divided out of both 7 and 14. It can be divided out of 7 once and 14 two times. We can also cross simplify this way the 5 and the 20, we can divide out a common factor of 5 in both numbers. This becomes a 1, this becomes a 4, and our final answer is 4 times 2 is 8. 
So that just means that in the number 2 and 6 sevenths, how many 5 fourteenths could we get out of that? We could get 8 of them. That's the final answer. I hope that helps, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you on the next slide. I'm just going to add a slide real quick and write down the steps for you, just in case you forgot. Okay, the first step, okay, change mixed numbers, mixed and whole numbers, to improper. Change the division sign to multiplication. Flip the second fraction. Multiply straight across. Always cross simplify. And then your last step is always to simplify. I hope that helps you. And bye for now.